ah, coach, I got some kind of injury. I went and saw a specialist and they told me that it's a rotator cuff injury. But I'm like, how do I have an injury when A, I don't work out, or B, I don't play any sports? And we often think that injuries are for athletes or bodybuilders, but I see it time after time with people coming in with shoulder injuries that these injuries are caused by daily life. Now, you don't have to not be working out and you don't have to be a pro athlete either. You could be somebody that's working out on the regular, but the injury probably didn't come from the gym. And today I'm gonna teach you how you might've gotten this injury. And then in a part two video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna strengthen and lengthen so that if you do get an injury, we're able to get rid of it. Or if by doing these stretches and strengthening exercises, you're gonna be able to prevent them. So guys, if you're looking to train properly and you don't wanna have a shoulder injury, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit. Mention Get Started. You got a coach by your side every single session and we're gonna be able to help you along the way. If you're a current member and you do have some kind of shoulder injury, then make sure that you watch the part two of this video because of the fact that you're gonna learn how to prevent this injury or we're gonna learn how to fix it. Now, the first thing is repetitive stress. And repetitive stress is something that you don't immediately feel. So a acute injury would be like if you fell with an outstretched arm. So perfect example, you're going down to get the mail and you didn't realize that your faucet was dripping on your stairs and at the base of the stairs under a little bit of snow is some ice and so you fall. Luckily you don't completely fall but you land with your arm fully engaged like this. It rams that shoulder into that socket and then there you've got your rotator cuff compressive injury. So that's an injury that you can say, okay, this happened. The other injuries that most of us face are these repetitive injuries where it takes more time. But give you a perfect example. You work from a desk and you're sitting at a desk and maybe the keyboard is just a little bit too far. Okay, the keyboard is just a little bit too far. And so what ends up happening is the keyboard is a little bit too far. It's putting too much strain onto that shoulder. Now you're not gonna feel that day one. You might not even feel that year one, but year two, year three, some of us are 10, 20 years into our career. And now through this repetitive eight hours of putting the arms out stretched like this, we've developed some type of strain within the shoulder. It could be any one of your, your rotator cuff muscles, but either way, something is strained within that shoulder. So the simple solution for you is to take small breaks. And in fact, I recommend this for anybody at any phase of whatever you're doing. If it's prolonged sitting, set a timer for every 50 minutes, okay? Every 50 minutes to get up for 50 seconds. So you get almost an hour of work, but you're only taking a 50 second small break and just focus on regaining that range of motion. So stretching out your arms, reaching up above your body. This way, this doesn't get stuck, right? Like if you hold your body like this for too long, it's gonna get stuck. So do the opposite, okay? So that's number one is repetitive strain. Number two is poor posture. And a lot of us, we are very not mindful of what's going on into our shoulders. A lot of us, we stand like this, right? So think about it. We got our arms out. This feels like the most relaxed position. This is good for burning calories because of the fact that your shoulders aren't in alignment. So that means that your muscles in the back are having to work extra because they wanna be in this position, which is a neutral set position. And so you're burning more calories because of the fact that this is not where your body wants to be. But we get stuck like this position. You know, we look forward, we slouch because we're doing our jobs and we're engaged with whatever it is that we're doing. And so what ends up happening is all the muscles in the back become lengthened and weak. And then all the muscles in the front, they're getting repetitive. Like even if it's 10,000 small reps, the front muscles are all getting a lot stronger. And what's ended up happening is that everything in the front has become shortened. Your body wants to be perfectly aligned. But what ends up happening is you pull one side, which means that you're pulling at the backside, right? So this is short and then this becomes long and that's not aligned. This is what we want, the front and the back to be in a line. But with your poor posture, you're pulling forward, shortening here, which means that you're lengthening here. And so you can see that that is going to create some type of injury that did not happen at the gym. It happened you sitting at your desk. 
So while you're sitting, honestly, like take within that 50 seconds of the break, get the arms up and running like this. But then what I want you to do is just get into this, this figure four or whatever you want to call it, handcuff position where you bring your shoulders back. So you're going to squeeze between your shoulder blades. You're going to push your head into your hands, which is going to engage the back neck muscles, which remember, they're all long, right? So when you're back here, they're poking forward, they become long and weak. So by you pushing your head back into your hands, you're gonna strengthen all the muscles into the neck, but then you're also going to lengthen your chest muscles, and then you're going to engage your shoulder blades. What I want you to do actually right now, first, hit the like button. Go ahead, hit the like button. Thank you. Okay, second, I actually want you to try this exercise right now while I continue to talk and let's see if you can hold it for 30 seconds and let me know how uncomfortable that is. And last but not least is carrying heavy objects. Now, if you're not working out, then carrying an object just randomly that's too heavy for your ability is going to create some type of strain. Now, you might pick up a grocery bag at Costco and you know, sometimes at Costco, they just load all the heavy stuff into one bag. And if you're like me, I'm like, I'm not moving stuff around in a bag. I'm just gonna try and get this bag from the cart into the back of my truck. And then the hardest part is carrying it from the truck to the kitchen, right? So let's say you've got some honey in there. You've got some peanut butter. You've got the big box of cereal. You've got your, your apples in there, maybe a bag of potatoes. I don't know. Who knows what they're putting in these things nowadays? But what ends up happening is by you lifting this weight that your body isn't accustomed to, you're now creating some type of strain, especially if you're picking that up through the, sh the shoulders. You're trying to carry this bag and obviously nobody wants to do two trips. So we're carrying all these other bags in here. And so what ends up happening is we're walking, we're carrying, we're moving around, it requires a lot of functional strength and that might've caused your shoulder condition. And so the things that you need to do is that A, you need to build up your strength, okay? So if you're unable to carry those bags, then you need to A, build up your strength and then don't load the bags so much. You actually might have to take time to unload the bags and move them around, okay? B is that you need to, you know, watch what's going on while that guy's packing your, your, your bags to make sure that he's not overloading or she's not overloading one bag at a time. And C, when you do these bags, you wanna make sure that you're doing proper lifting techniques. And so it ends up happening just like at the weight room, right? So we go to the gym and we go to pick up weights and every time there's always one person that just, I get it, you know, we work out within 30 seconds. So the five seconds prior to the 30 seconds that you wanna pick up these weights, we're not thinking, right? Once we get into the exercise, we start doing it properly, but to get the weights from the floor, we all kind of like pick up improperly, right? We either try to just force that weight up through our arm or we force that weight up through our back. The same thing happens when we get into the bags that we just kind of rip them out of the bag and then we just like walk and you know, we're just like got our cell phone and our purse and everything in our hands and we're just not properly lifting. So the key is to get the body in alignment. So set your shoulders, set your back, right? Set your, your neck straight up when you grab it, it may look stupid, but nobody's watching you unload groceries. Pick it up with your legs and then make sure that you're set, then get moving and take it slow, step by step, okay, step by step. So there we have it, three non-workout shoulder related injuries that you could potentially face. Number one is gonna be that repetitive stress, whether it be sitting and reaching. Number two is poor posture from typing or looking down at our phones. We're all creating strain in the backside of our neck and our shoulders. And number three is we're carrying objects improperly, but also weights that we're unable to lift. So we need to start getting into strength training. Now, if you're looking for proper lifting techniques or you're looking to live a very functional life and get rid of those posture problems, we do have a stretch component that we offer within the Fit Fam. So all you gotta do is go to www.fitclub.fit, mention get started, and we'll talk to you soon.